Hello, welcome to Tina Cooks. Today's episode, Carl's taking over in the kitchen. He's going to make me a Mother's Day treat, hot dog and bean stew. Stay tuned. <laughs> Hello, welcome to Tina Cooks. I'm not Tina, but I'm going to make Tina a special Mother's Day surprise. My special recipe of hot dogs and bean stew. Now this recipe is probably the only thing I know how to make, but it was passed down to me from my father, Al, and I don't know where he got it from. He probably got it from uh, Popular Mechanics magazine, something like that. I'm not sure where he got it from. But the ingredients are very simple. You have a package of hot dogs. Any kind will do. All beef, turkey dogs, doesn't matter. Whatever you want, you can use. One onion, right? A cup of ketchup. Any kind of ketchup that you like, doesn't matter. Two cans of beans. You can use pork and beans, you can use brown beans, whatever you like. Anything works. And a little bit of oil and a little bit of butter and we'll get going. But first we have to do a little bit of prep here to get ready before we go to the stove. Now because I'm not behind the camera you're probably wondering who's shooting this right now. Tina is actually doing the shooting so I don't know if she's cutting my head off. I don't know how it looks but we'll see when it comes out. All right. I'm using one of Tina's knives. She gets very nervous when I use her knives. But let's talk a minute about kitchen safety. Remember to read, understand, and follow all the instructions that come with your utensils in the kitchen. And there's no greater safety word than to use these safety glasses. Okay, now we're gonna start into the recipe. First of all, we have our onion. We're gonna dice our onion up. Now, a good friend of mine, Julia Child, taught me the proper way to cut an onion up. And I'm gonna show you that right now. What's that face for, Tina? You're making faces at me. I don't know what they mean, but that's okay. Cut the onion in half. Try to take the skin off. It helps if you have some sense of fingernails to take the, uh, the skin off. This may take a few minutes. But that's all right, we can always speed up the motion like we do on Tina's show. I'm killing this onion, Tina. All right. We're gonna, we're gonna just go ahead, take the skin off here. I know I should have taken the skin off first. Anyway, this recipe I perfected over the years. My father taught me how to, how to make this and it's been a family favorite. Whenever we make, whenever I make this, I get accolades from all the family members. They love it. My kids love it, but I haven't yet passed on the recipe to them, but we'll see, we'll see what happens. Okay, so the way Julia, Cho, Julia Child showed me how to cut onions is, you cut it in half, lay it down like this, and first you cut across like this, trying very hard not to cut yourself with these sharp knives. As you can see, there's still a little skin hanging around here, but it may add some flavor, you never know. Okay, and then, get off there. Then, you go this way, see that? Go down the onion this way. Tina uses a different method, but she's a professional, I'm not. And I don't know if this way works, but hey, it works okay for me. Now remember to curl your fingers in. We don't want any accidents like we've had with some of Tina's shows. Hey. Uh, no comments. Camera people cannot talk while we're on the air. Okay, so we're gonna cut the rest of this up like this. Just dice your onions, have some fun with it. Try not to cry. No, I'm not crying yet. That's why I wear these safety glasses. Okay. So we got some of this stuff chopped up. Let's put it in our uh, bowl here. Look at that. There's nothing better than fresh onion. 
for all you onion lovers out there. You could use, I bet you you could use a Vidalia onion for this. Huh, Tina? Could use a Vidalia? You probably could use a Vidalia onion. Uh, but I just like regular, regular onions. They work okay for me. Look at that technique, huh? Now remember kids, don't try this at home. You let your parents do this because it's very dangerous to cut onions. Unless you have uh, a kitchen chopper or something like, uh, what do they call that, the magic bullet? I don't know what they call it. I can't talk. No, don't, don't talk. No talking by the camera people. Okay. All right, we've got our onions diced. This is probably the hottest part of the recipe, is dicing your onions. Now we come to the fun part. We're going to cut up Franks, otherwise known as hot dogs, Frankfurters. Now you can use the skinless, you can use the, uh, you know, the ones uh, deli you get from the deli. Doesn't matter. Anything that you like, you can use. Like Tina says, you got to cook with what you like. And Tina knows. Okay. We're going to use a whole package of, of uh, hot dogs for this. And you just cut them about maybe uh, an eighth to a... Uh, you don't want them any, too much thicker than a quarter inch. I try to get them thin because they'll, they'll cook better when you, when you fry them. This dish is done all on a stove top in, in one large frying pan. You can use a non-stick frying pan, whatever you like. Uh, what I'm going to do at this point, for all you people that love to watch Tina Cooks and love the, the fast motion effect that we do when Tina's cutting things up, I'm going to cut the second package of hot dogs in extreme fast motion so you can enjoy the fast motion segment of the show. There, we got all our hot dogs, oh, they're escaping. We got all our hot dogs chopped up, and I've made a mess of the breakfast bar. But now we're going to take a break, we're gonna go over to the stove, and we're gonna get this thing cooking. Okay, here we are, we're at the stove. What a beautiful stove. What nice guy bought this stove for his wife? I don't know, but it's a nice stove. But anyway, I haven't gotten used to using it yet. So Tina's probably gonna yell at me because I never know how to turn these burners on, but I'm gonna try it. See, there we go, okay. I'm putting the burner up kind of medium high, all right? Now, first thing, you can see my ingredients over here. I'm gonna take a little bit of oil here. This can be olive oil, it can be regular corn oil, whatever you like. I'm gonna put about maybe uh, two tablespoons. Yeah, well, two tablespoons of oil in the pan. And I'm gonna take about, I would say, uh, let me grab a knife here. I'm gonna take about two tablespoons of butter. Cut that off right about here. There we go. Two tablespoons of butter in there. Okay, grab a nice wooden spoon here. Now, for all you weight conscious people out there, turn the channel right now. Turn the channel, do not watch this show. Anybody that's weight conscious, turn the channel because we have butter in this recipe, and we have oil in this recipe, and we have fatty hot dogs in this recipe. So, it's just that it's, you're not gonna lose weight eating hot dog and bean stew, but that's okay. Now. We're getting that going, and we're going to dump our nicely diced onions into the pan. I don't know if you can hear those sizzling, but they're starting to. Okay. We're going to get these going for a few minutes. And start browning these off. Now this is going to take a few minutes until they get brown. What we want them to do is turn a little bit uh, translucent, I guess, as Tina would say. And we want them a little brown around the edges. So that's gonna take a few minutes. 
And while we're waiting for the onions to brown, we're going to cut to a special song by a special recording artist that has to do with hot dogs and beans. So we're going to cut to that right now. As you can see, come on in on this, Tina. You can see our onions are browning nicely, okay? It's turning translucent and they're getting brown around the edges. Now we're gonna throw in our hot dogs. We have a package of hot dogs that we diced up. Throw those babies right in there. Sorry. And we're gonna start frying these up a bit. I'm going to turn the heat down just a tish. What we want to do at this point is brown these hot dogs just a little bit. Start cooking them so that they're brown around the edges. And as you can see, the onions are getting brown, so, uh, you know, it's going to mix in. The flavor of the browning onions is going to mix in with the hot dogs. It's going to give them a nice, a nice flavor. Plus, you have that, that uh, butter that we threw in there. So we're just going to uh, brown these hot dogs up for a few minutes. Now a lot of people don't realize that how much work it is to do an episode of Tina Cooks. Not only do we have to shoot the, uh, the show, but then it takes us about a week of time. We have to uh, transfer it all to a computer to edit it down. and. Uh, but we're lucky because Tina doesn't make too many mistakes, not too many goofs, so 
we don't have to cut out too much, but it takes a little while to add music and to add the sound effects and the transitions and uh, all the things that help to go together to make Tina's show uh, fun to watch. Now, as you can see, these hot dogs are getting to a point where they're starting to brown. Tina's got a nice close-up of that. She's getting pretty good at the camera, too. You know that? She's getting nice and steady on her shots there. Oh, if you could smell this. It's nothing like the smell of hot dog and bean stew. Yummy, yummy. Okay. All right, at this point, we have these hot dogs browned. I like them a little browner than this, so this may be another time to go into fast motion, Tina. How about it? Show those hot dogs. At this point, these hot dogs are browned very nicely. Now we're going to finish this dish up. We take the two cans of beans, dump them in. Oh yeah. Yeah, we got them all. Okay, we're going to mix that in. That's going to bring the temperature down in your pan a little bit, but that's okay. It's going to cool your pan down, but that's what you want. Now, we're going to take one full cup of ketchup and dump that in. Make sure you get all of it there. That's it. You're going to stir that in. Oh boy, does this look delicious. Yummy, yum, yum. Okay, now, last thing you want to do is add some salt and pepper, kind of give it some seasoning. Uh, just grab a little salt, throw that in there, maybe a little more. Okay, and some pepper. Let's see, how does this work, Tina? I guess you just, yeah, there you go. Like that. All right, now we're just going to stir this around a little bit. Okay, now let's see, I have a cover. Here's what we're going to do now. Now what we do, I'm going to lower this down to a simmer, very low. And I'm going to put a cover on it, and I'm going to let this baby cook for about an hour at a very very, very low simmer. I'm going to let this cook for an hour, low simmer. You can peek at it every once in a while, give it a stir just to make sure it's not sticking, but you don't want to disrupt it too much. What you want to do is cover it, maybe let the cover crack open a little bit to let off some steam, and this is going to reduce a little bit and turn into a, a real delicious thick hot dog and bean stew. So while this is cooking, we're going to cut back to that handsome recording artist that you heard earlier. He's going to do some more music for you, so stay tuned. Arizona moon keeps shining from the desert sky above. You know Pretty soon that big yellow moon will light the way back to the one you love. Blue shadows on the trail. Little cowboy, close your eyes. Doggies are 
in the corral All of your work is done Just close your eyes and dream, little pal Dream of someone Okay, now it's time to reveal the pièce de résistance for all you French people in the audience. Hot dog and bean stew. This baby's been cooking for about an hour. It's nice and thick. And uh, Tina's gonna love this for a Mother's Day treat. She is gonna really enjoy this. So let's go to the table and see how it tastes. Happy Mother's Day to you. Happy Mother's Day to you. Look oh, what I made you. Doesn't that look wonderful? This is hot dog and bean stew. I know what it is. Oh, <laughs> why don't you have some? Here, I'm going to give you a scoop. I want you to try some of that and show the audience how good of a cook your husband really is. Wow, it's really hot. That's all right. Just blow on it a little bit. It's very hot. My son's doing the camera work. Mm. <laughs> very hot, but very good. Mm. It's very hot. What she said was... Very I, hot, I will... but very good. Yes, it's very hot, but it's very good. So, Tina, wait, before you put that in your mouth, you want to close your show out? Sure. Well, this is Tina and Carl saying, have a good night. Take me, oh my darling On this our wedding day Do not forsake me, oh my darling Wait, wait long I do not Love and duty, suppose and I lose my fair head beauty. Look at that big hand move along near in high noon. He made a vow while in state prison, vowed it would be my life for his, and I'm not afraid of death, but oh, what will I do with him? Forsake me, oh my darling 
You made that promise as a bride.